Hello and welcome to TorontoWebsiteDeveloper.com. I am Piyorski, the Toronto Website Developer Specializing in Drupal. And this is the first video tutorial in my series on the Heartbeat module and creating an activity feed for your site that will record different user actions uh, throughout the site. So uh, I'm not really sure how long this video tutorial is going to be, so that's why I couldn't give you a list, or rather a number, for the series. But rather, what I intend to do is walk you through the Heartbeat module and show you how to set it up manually. Um, at the time of recording this, I wanted to use Heartbeat for a specific project that I was working on, but the problem was I could only find one video tutorial actually created by the module developer, uh, which kind of walked through how to set up the defaults for Heartbeat, but not actually showing you the intricacies of the Heartbeat module and how you can customize it. So it was a little bit confusing for me to try to figure things out, and because of that, I figured it's going to be confusing for others. So I've gone ahead and started this series. Um, what I intend to do is cover uh, heartbeat. So we'll look at the defaults. If you want to use the defaults, you can go ahead. I'll try and explain them in plain language and then you can use them. Um, but then from there, I'll show you how you can actually create your own uh, kind of activities uh, and log messages. And then we can use rules to kind of fire off, uh, you know, different, uh, we'll call them hooks for lack of a better term. Uh, so when different hooks are fired, um, you know, we'll log different messages. And then I'll show you how you can use view views to actually list out those messages. So that'll be over a few different video tutorials. And um, we'll also take a look at flag friend and I'll show you how to create friend relationships. And then you can create activity feeds for your friends to take a look at. So for this video tutorial, what I wanna do is just get heartbeat set up. I'll walk you through the defaults and if that's enough for you, you know, you'll be done with the video tutorial series. Um, but if not, this will give you the groundwork for the next video tutorial where we'll actually be looking at the intricacies of the module. So that said, let's go over to drupal.org slash project slash heartbeat grab the, uh, the seven, at the time of this, it's 7.x1.1. So I'm just gonna copy that link address, head over to my site, and I've got the admin uh, administration menu module installed here. So that's why I've got this nice drop dropdown. Um, and then I'm gonna install a new module. So I can go ahead and paste that. And I've got install new module because I think I've got site manager or something out of Drupal core installed. And I'll just hit install. So now I can go ahead and enable newly added modules. And one thing I should flag is when I went to actually record this, I ran into an issue where um, I would get an error reset uh, issue on my site. Uh, and that's because I was using PHP, I wanna say it was, let's take a look here, PHP uh, 53.13. Uh, um, I'm not sure what happened, but apparently there's some kind of conflict between Heartbeat and that PHP uh, version. That's the only thing that I can deduce because uh, I couldn't get my site up unless I changed the PHP version. So I'm using 5.2. 9-2 for this video tutorial series and uh, it seems to work. I don't have any issues. Uh, but that said, uh, back to the video tutorial series, I've got Heartbeat installed here and I've got a module filter module uh, enabled here. So I've got this nice JavaScript setting here. So what I want to do is go ahead and enable Heartbeat activity. This is the core module for it. Now this is uh, activity defaults. And so this is what was a little bit confusing to me when I first started working with Heartbeat is you can create these defaults for different uh, I guess triggers on the site, um, but it just creates these different streams. And I'm gonna to try to explain all of this language to you. So don't worry about it for now, but install um, or enable heartbeat activity. We'll take a look at the defaults. Uh, the comments are kind of neat, so we'll, we'll do those as well. And then we'll use the, the UI and then we're gonna need rules, but we obviously we've got to install some of the modules here. So let's go ahead and save that. And yes, it's gonna tell me that I need to install heartbeat plugins. Okay, great. So now that's set up, again, I can just click here, heartbeat, and go over the configure page. And you'll see we've got a whole bunch of different options here. And this is actually under structure heartbeat. So um, so looking at this here, we, we've got heartbeat streams, we've got heartbeat templates. This is where most of the meat's going to um, come from for this video tutorial series. Uh, and this is what I had the most trouble wrapping my head around. So essentially, your heartbeat templates are kind of... Um, they are like your triggers that are going to occur, right? So this is what's actually going to get recorded. And then your streams are going to be how that information is actually shown to users. So it's almost like your streams are, are really your pages, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, and your templates are kind of like, you know, your templates for your messages. Um, so the best way to take a look at this is actually step into heartbeat templates. And you'll see here, when we enable the defaults, we get this heartbeat add comment, heartbeat add node. Heartbeat become friends, edit account, that kind of thing, right? And so these are all different events that will occur. Um, and we have these templated messages or when those occur. So if I go into heartbeat add comment, 
we'll see that you know we provide a definition so this is just essentially a description of the message that's being provided um, you can define who can actually see this type of message um, an example of what this might look like again you don't set this but then the content here so this content what this this single message here this is the actual message that's going to be provided and you can see here they're using placeholders for username comment um, title and then these actually get um, the information provided to them um, at the time that this is this trigger is fired let's say right um, and again you got the type of message um, and a whole bunch of settings here but you can start to see why this gets a little bit confusing if you don't do this kind of out of the box for yourself so these are all of the defaults and those are what the messages look like now we can take a look at the streams so streams here you'll see for like node activity right so there's a stream identifying all the different node activity that's gone on so nodes that have been added edited and whatnot so if we go into edit here you'll see again we've got tons of different actual settings for this um, which are really confusing but i guess the, the the key here is the pages and you can see here the path to stream page and it's that heartbeat slash node activity so that's where users can go to see all of this node activity but if you look back here we have all of these different pages for different things so we've got this user activity i can go into edit here and i can see the pages it's creating two different pages uh, for user activity uh, and then you've got site activity tweet activity all kinds of different activity which is just really confusing out of the box and so that's why i wanted to do this video tutorial series to show you how we can set that up on our own so um, that's pretty much the end of this video tutorial uh, if you're happy with the templates um, really what you can do is you can just go into streams here you can go into node activity you can edit this and just change the pages that you want to have this on right if you leave these blank they're not going to be enabled so right now this uh, heartbeat node activity just has the one page again you can go back to relationship activity uh, relations activity go into page um, and set these you can remove this if you'd like to um, in the next video tutorial what i'm going to do is we're going to turn off the defaults and i'm going to walk you through setting this up from scratch so we're going to actually uh, enable the um, flag friend module. So, you know, we'll create some friends and then we'll start walking through how we set up our own uh, templates and then how we'll set up a stream and then how we can use display suite to actually make this look kind of nice, um, which is also in the original video tutorial that wasn't created by me, but the uh, module uh, developer and maintainer. So uh, hopefully this wasn't too confusing. You can see the need for the Heartbeat Module video tutorial series. Uh, if in some way this video tutorial helped you, please let me know with a comment or a thumbs up. And if you're looking forward to this series, please let me know with a comment so that uh, I can make sure that they come out in a timely manner. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video tutorial.